Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, before we start our program, I want to ask you, how's life today? Yes. I'm doing well too. So, let's open our program today by reciting Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Guys, I want to ask you something. I have some pictures here. Do you know what is this picture? Yes, that's garden, garden house. Do you know where exactly it comes from? It comes from West Sumatra. That's true. Do you ever hear the famous legend in West Sumatra? Yeah. Okay. I have the new clue. This picture. Yeah, that's Malik Kundan statue. So we will talk about the legend of Malik Kundan. Do you ever listen the story of Malik Kundan? Ever? Yeah. So I have the text about the story of Malik Kundan. So now I want some of you to read aloud about the story together. I will give you for about 15 minutes to read the story. After that, I, we will do some quiz. But before, I want you to make some difficult vocabularies. Write down on your book and later, we will give the meaning together. Do it now. The Legend of Malin Kundan A long time ago, in small village near the beach in West Sumatra, lived a woman and her son, Malin Kundang. Malin Kundang and his mother had to live hard because his father had passed away when he was a baby. Malin Kundang was a healthy, diligent, and strong boy. He usually went to sea to catch fish. After getting fish, he would bring it to his mother or sell the caught fish in the town. One day, when Malin Kundang was sailing, he saw a merchant ship being raided by a band of pirates. With his bravery, Malin Kundang helped the merchant defeat the pirates. To thank him, the merchant allowed Malin Kundang to sail with him. Malin Kundang agreed and the hope to get a better life. He left his mother alone. Many years later, Malin Kundang became wealthy. He had a huge ship and a lot of crews who walk loading trading goods. He was also married to a beautiful woman. When he was sailing on his trading journey, his ship landed on a coast near a small village. The local people recognized that it was Malin Kundang, a boy from the area. The news ran fast in the town. Malin Kundang has become rich and now he is here. An old woman who was Malin Kundang's mother ran to the beach to meet the new rich merchant. She wanted to hug him to realize her sadness of being lonely after a long time. 
When his mother came near him, Malin Kundang, who was with his beautiful wife and his ship crews, denied that she was his mother. She had pleaded Malin Kundang to look at her and admit that she was her mother, but he kept refusing to do it and yelling at her. At last, Malin Kundang said to her, Enough, old man. I have never had a mother like you, a dirty and ugly woman. After that, he ordered his crews to set sail to leave the old woman who was then full of sadness and anger. Finally, feeling enraged, she cursed Malin Kundang that he would turn into a stone if he didn't apologize to her. Malin Kundang just laughed and set sail. Suddenly, a thunderstorm came in a quiet sea, wrecking his huge ship. He was thrown out to a small island. It was really too late for him to avoid his curse. He had turned into a stone. Okay, after reading the story, I want to know how many difficult vocabularies that you get. Yes? Okay, I will give you some of them. The first is merchant. What is merchant? Merchant is saudager. The next. Number two. Number two is defeat. What is the meaning of defeat? That is mengalahkan. And the next, the third. Maybe some of you know about this vocabulary. Pirates. That's true. Pirates. What is the meaning of pirates? Bajak all. Next. Enrich. What is the meaning of enrich? Marah besar. Yeah, that's is same as angry. The next vocabulary. Cursed. What is the meaning of cursed? That's when Maria Kundera become a stone. That's true. Mengutuk. So when the mother is cursed, the Maria Kundera. Huge ship. What is the meaning of huge ship? It's um, as the big ship. Yeah, kapal yang sangat besar. The next. Refuse. What is the meaning of refuse? Menolak. The next. Vocabulary. Cost. What is the meaning of cost? It's like beach. It's same as beach. That is pantai. The next. Wreck. What is the meaning of wreck? Wreck is menghancurkan. And the last vocabulary. Denied. What is the meaning of denied? Denied is mengingkari. So those are about the vocabularies. Let us read together about the vocabulary. First, merchant. Following, merchant. Number two, defeat. Three, pirates. The fourth. Enrich. The fifth, cursed. The sixth, huge ship. 
The second, a fuse. Next, cost. And then, break. And the last, denied. After this, I will give you some quiz. If you know about the answer directly, raise your hand and answer the question. The first question. This talk about Marie Kunder. Why did Palin Kudan and his mother have to leave Harvard? Do you know the answer? Yes, because his father had passed away when Marin Kudan was baby. So when he was still baby, his father had passed away. So number two. Give an example that Malin Kudam was a healthy, diligent, and strong boy. Do you know? Yeah, that's true. Because he usually went to the sea to catch the fish. And after getting fish, he would bring it to his mother or sell it in the town. Number three. How did the merchant allow Madhya Kundal to join him in the sale? The answer is, Madhya Kundal helped the merchant defeat the pirates who attacked the merchant ship and thank to him. So that the merchant allow Madhya Kundal to join to the sale. Number four. What happened many years after Malin Kundal joined to the sailing? Yes, he became wealthy and married the beautiful woman. Number five. How did the local people react when they saw Malin Kundal? Yes, the local people recognize Malin Kunda, a boy from the area. The react, all of the people talk about Malin Kunda and the mother heard about the news. Number six, what did Malin Kunda's mother do when she heard Malin Kunda landing on the coast? Yes, she directly ran to the beach and hugged her son. The next number. Number seven. What made Marit Kundan's mother sad and angry? Yeah. She is she was angry because Malin Kunda denied that she was her mother and yelled at her. The next number. What did she do when Malin Kunda denied that she was she is his mother? Yes. The mother of Malin Kunda cursed his her son into the stone. Number nine. How did the curse happen? The curse happened when Malin Kunda and the crew got the thunderstorm in the sea. And then the ship cut the wreck and he turned into the storm. The last number. What is the moral value that you get from this story? The moral value? Yes. We have to respect our parents for our mother, our mother.
Okay, after reading the text of Malin Kundang and do the quiz, here the text about Malin Kundang is narrative text. Narratives are told or written using this text structure, orientation, complication, and resolution. The next talk. Please discuss with the partner the answer to the following questions. Number one, when and where did the story happen? Number two, who were involved in the story? Number three, what event started the plot of the story? Number four, what happened next? Number five, what makes the problem in the story get more complicated? Number six, what is the climax of the story? Number seven, was there any resolution of the story? Number eight, was there any conclusion or message of the story? So, after that, you have to make the structure of narrative text from Malin Kundang's story. That's about the story of Malin Kundang. After reading the story and then you can answer the questions, what did you learn about him? Do you want to be Malin Kundang? Of course not. So, I want you to make some review about this lesson today and the next meeting we will discuss together. Let's close our program today by setting Hamdala together. And the last I say was